All right, guys, I do have a Monday editorial for you, um, and I'm not real happy about this one. It appears that Breonna Taylor may not get justice in her shooting from Louisville, Kentucky. It's like they're trying to do the right thing, but they're not. So you'll see when I give you the editorial what I'm talking about. I'm going to put a link to this story in the description box below. You can read the whole story for yourself. And you can comment in the comment section on how you feel about the portions of the story I'm going to give you today in an editorial. Thank you, USA Today, for this story. Out of Louisville, Kentucky, Mayor Greg Fisher announced Friday that Louisville Metro Police is initiating termination of Officer Brett Hankinson, one of three officers to fire weapons at Breonna Taylor's apartment, which resulted in her death. Breonna Taylor, 26, was shot by officers at her apartment on March 13th of this year as they entered to serve a no-knock warrant. Her boyfriend thought officers were intruders and fired a shot as they entered. Taylor was shot eight times in the suing gunfire from officers. Hankinson is accused by the department's interim chief, Robert Schroeder, of blindly firing 10 rounds into Taylor's apartment, creating a substantial danger of death and serious injury. Schroeder wrote in a Friday letter to Hankinson laying out the charges against him, quote, I find your conduct a shock to the conscience. I am alarmed and stunned you used deadly force in this fashion. He added, quote, the result of your action seriously impedes the department's goal of providing the citizens of our city with the most professional law enforcement agency possible. I cannot tolerate this type of conduct by any member of the Louisville Metro Police Department. Your conduct demands your termination. Specifically, Hankinson is accused of violating departmental policies on adherence to rules and regulations and use of deadly force. Schroeder, who wrote that he received the department's Public Integrity Unit investigation into the case on Tuesday evening, notes Hankinson was previously disciplined for, early, uh, for reckless conduct in early 2019. The pre-termination letter Schroeder sent Friday will be followed up with a pre-termination hearing expected to take place in the next week where Hankinson and his legal representation attorney David Lady will respond to the allegations. Schroeder will then issue a final decision, which Hankinson can appeal to the police merit board within 10 days. That board will consider if the chief's decision was justified. If it determines it was not justified, it can levy its own punishment. The other two officers who fired their weapons at Taylor's apartment, Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly and Officer Miles Cosgrove, have been placed on administrative reassignment. Now, Officer Brett Hankinson in recent weeks also has been accused of sexual assault by multiple women in viral social media posts. The allegations are similar, saying that he offered intoxicated women a ride home from bars before sexually assaulting them. Two women, similar stories, both start at the end of their night. After they say they left a bar, an officer, Brett Hankinson, offered them a ride home. We found the allegations posted on Facebook. One woman writes, he drove me home in uniform in his marked car, invited himself into my apartment, and sexually assaulted me while I was unconscious. A second woman says, he began making sexual advances towards me, rubbing my thigh, kissing my forehead, and calling me baby. Mayor Greg Fisher speaking out on the allegations Thursday. Attorneys representing Hankinson in a civil lawsuit and the Louisville Metro Police Department investigation looking into his conduct did not immediately respond to Courier Journal requests for comment on Friday. Ryan Nichols, the president of the River City Fraternal Order of Police chapter representing the Louisville Metro Police officers, declined to comment at this time. Sam Aguar, Aguar, a Louisville-based attorney for Taylor's family, said Friday about his firing, it's about damn time. He said, quote, maybe finally the mayor realized that sometimes you just need to do what the best thing is for the city. And since day one, the best thing to do for the city is to take this dirty cop off the payroll and off the streets. Now, the problem I have with this, they're going to take him off the streets, but he's never going to he's going to be a cop somewhere else. Or he'll move to another state, get certified in that state as a law enforcement officer and become a cop there. He's not going to be charged. He's not going to do any time. He fired 10 rounds blindly into an apartment, killing an EMT. Brianna Taylor. Now, 
I'm not saying that it matters or doesn't matter whether or whether or not she was an EMT or not. But the fact, what I'm saying is the fact that she was an EMT, she really in the circle of first responders was in that bubble as one of their own. One of their own, an EMT. And they're not even going to do anything about it. They're like, well, we're going to fire the guy. We're doing something. You're firing the guy. You're putting a Band-Aid on a broken bone. I want to know what you guys think. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast, especially in Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you guys for watching. Brianna Taylor, we're going to try to keep your memory going.